Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the Maker's Cave. And today we're continuing along with the Agora Lamborghini Miura. This is pack six. Uh, I'll put a link below to this model and all the other models and the tools and supplies that I use. So as usual, we'll bring you guys forward and we'll start putting things together. So we're going to start pack six off with uh, stage 43 and we're going to bring this back. And the first thing we're going to do is back, we're going to put the uh, emergency brake in here. And that's real simple. That just is simply going to fit right in here. There you go. Next, we're going to be doing the uh, passenger handle. There's some holes in the bottom here. There's tabs here. There we go. Give you some close up there. Goes right in here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the gate for the transmission in. There is a tiny little extra knob that is going to go over like this. There you go. And then, of course, you're going to need a shift handle, gear shift lever, and there's a little hole in the middle here. There you go. Shift handle is in. After you've done uh, the shift lever, there's a frame right here that goes around this black uh, bulge. So we're just going to slip that right on and that frame is on that brings us to the end of the stage all right 44 we're going to do some brake pedal and the clutch pedal and the gas pedal and we're going to do the switches for them the only problem is they did not send me the fuel pedal they sent me two brake pedals instead so i'm going to assemble everything but the gas pedal so the first thing i have is doing is the gas pedal so we're going to skip that next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the brake pedal and that's going to go right into here that fits right into there and then we're going to take one of the switches and we're going to take obviously the end with the button and that's going to go right into here and you can tell when you've got it the right way because when you push in here you're going to be able to feel it hit the uh, hit the button. Now, apparently, I just noticed while reading the directions, there is color coding here. There's white here, which is for the which is for the gas pedal, which we don't have, and then this this one here is green, which is for the um, brake pedal. So you're going to take this cover, we're going to orient it this way with this little hole down here, and that is going to hold which should be two switches but it's just going to hold the one switch for us right now so now that you have the cover on here you're going to use a K screw to hold everything into place okay now that you have the uh, of course the accelerator pedal is missing you got the uh, brake in here now you've got the clutch which just goes right into here there's a little hole in here and it just slides right up into here it's got to put a little pressure in there and it's in there so there we go we can stop it and we can change gears we just can't make it go and we're going to move all this aside so you want to go get your interior here and you want to turn it upside down so it's like this and then you're going to take your little pedals and they're going to go into here It just fits right into there so it goes right into here you're, and then you press fit this into here but I'm not going to do that because I still have to add the gas pedal to it when it shows up and that's the end of this stage 45 is pretty easy it's just the seat and some K screws and we're going to start off with bringing back your interior compartment and you're going to take the cigarette lighter knob and it's going to go in the hole opposite the key there you go now you're going to take the foot rest that came in the previous stage and you're going to turn it like this and it's going to go this is going to go right up in here and you're going to take one of your K screws And now the foot rest is all in. 
you're going to go back to stage three, you're going to get one of your the seat that came in there. And then there's also a seat that came in this stage. They are identical, so it doesn't matter how they go. So you're just going to put one in here and one in here. And these are pretty neat. They're like a rubber. All right, now the two seats are in here. You're going to flip it over. And you're going to use some J screws to hold the seat in. Seats are held in. And that's it for this stage. Now we're going to move on to 46. All right, here's 46. We're going to be doing the steering column. But what I wanted, of course, there's some electrical switches on here, but I wanted to bring your attention to be very careful. It's very hard to see. There is a screw, a screw. There is a spring included in here, and it is super small and easy to lose. So be careful. Now, the wiring harnesses that are included are all color coded, and it looks like it is a blue color, uh, which is for the horn. Uh, the yellow is for the dashboard light. And the yellow switch is for the uh, turn signals. So you're going to take the column cover and you're going to take the yellow indicator switch. There's a button here and it's yellow down here. And you're going to fit the switch into here. Now once you've got the, the button faces to the inside of the assembly, so you want to fold the, the wires over here. And you want to bring them around here behind this pin up top here. And then out through the top of the assembly right there. Next, you want to take what they're calling the, well, not the, it is the horn switch, which is the blue one. And again, this time the button faces out. This is where things get a little tricky. But they want to take this little spring and he wants you to put it over top of the little little stub there on there. Now they want you to take this and put it in this housing. Now that you did that, I would suggest you hold that in there with your fingers. They want you to bend these wires back and run them just as you did with okay now that you have it like that you're going to take your other cover and you're going to put it over top to hold everything hopefully into place All right, after you have the cover on here, you're going to use some H screws to attach it. And this stage is complete. All right, stage 47. So the first thing we're going to do is to take this you're going to turn it just like this <laughs> you're supposed to put this switch panel into here now the directions show that this side is what you're supposed to be working with is painted this color yours may not come that way the directions say but this is how you want to hold this piece you know right here uh, with these studs up and what you want is to put these rocker switches right into here. Because this is the part that's visible inside the car. Okay, so there's the rocker switches there all set up. And you know you have it right because one side of the rocker switch is, hot, is higher than the other. And that should be up towards this hole here. So you know you've got it in right. You're going to put this aside. You're going to bring back this upper uh, steering column that we had right here. 
you're going to take the steering column right here and you're going to put this through here okay so we got the column screwed on here the next part was to take the steering column and put it through here now you kinda gotta angle this column down so it goes underneath the wires don't force it or you're going to snap the wire off the switches which is what I did and I had to resolder it um, some people even said you should actually put this in place before you put these two clamshells together uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the steering wheel and we are going to put that on here. It kind of fits into place and as you can see it's rotating right here. Fits in there real nice and tight. Now once that steering wheel is in there you want to use you want to use a type D now to secure that in there. I'm holding the shaft while I screw this in. Okay, it's in there. I'm going to hold this. It is turning, it is turning the shaft, so we're doing good there. Now we need to go back to stage one, and we need to get the emblem that was on here. And there's three holes in here in the steering. So that means this is, can only go on one way. And in theory, this... the hell was that? No clue. Do you have something over there? There you go. Emblem's on there. So we're going to hide that screw. And we have this. And we have this. We have some pieces left over. We got these chrome pieces left over we didn't use. So this stage is done. Here is the only part that's for stage 48, which is the front cab. Now what we'll do is well switch here just so you can see how big that is. All right, so now let's see what they want us to do with it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is, is have us take these chrome pieces that we had before and where they're going to fit into here and they just kind of fit into the tabs in here now you just turn the piece around and it's very important again that you have a nice cloth under here because you don't want to scratch this paint job Okay, so those chrome pieces are all in there now. Whoops. Now they're all in there. So we're going to put this aside. We're going to bring back the dashboard that we did in stage four. And now we want the steering column. See this tab right here. And you're going to take these wires and you feed them through the sides. And you take this tab, you make sure that's down. That ensures also that these wires are to the side right in here. And it slides into some locking tabs in the dashboard. Okay, just like that. And then there is a screw hole right here. And that is going to get a type B. So now the steering column is all secured into place. Now you're going to take the wire you got in the last stage that has the LED, this little yellow indicator, and right down in there you'll see a little silver spot right there. You want to push this out, whoops, you want to push the LED right into there. Okay, it's in there. 
And now with this, so with doing that LED and the trim on this cab right here, or the main part of the, the vehicle there, this stage is complete, so we are going to move on to 49. So I'm not going to wait for when the directions tell you to put these mirrors on these things. I just want to get it done now so I don't have them hanging around. I mean, it's... Now that's on there. Now what I want to point out to you is it looks bluish because there's a protective film on here. Which, now I'm taking it off now. Okay, so here is the vanity mirror. Again, there's only a certain shape so you know how it goes on here. Alright, and once again, that has the protective covering on there. Those two things are out of the way. Why wait for directions? Alright, now you're going to bring this back. And bring this back. And right here, this is where we are going to put this little knob right here. And I'm going to attempt to use pair of needle nose pliers. little tight fitting in there so again I'm just gonna take some of that paint out there we go now that knob is in there and we're gonna turn this over here are the keypads we put in earlier. Here is that interior light that we had right here. So what we're going to do is we are going to put that in here. You're going to hold it like this. And it's going to go right in there. Now they say you can lightly bend this panel to get this to fit into here. And you can look on this side and you can see there's the clear spots here and here and right in here you see that hole that's where you're going to take this long wire you've got here and you're going to put the LED in there and what you want to do is route the wires carefully bending them over to the back of the panel. Now, while we're flipping this over, I'm going to keep my finger on the back here. All right. So right up here is where you're going to put the rearview mirror, and we've already put the reflective mirror in there, so that goes in there. And you're going to flip this over, and there's a hole for it, and that's going to get an L screw. mirrors in place. Now we are going to take the vanity. So with this, this, got this sprue with the visor brackets and LED and here this stage is complete. Alright stage 50, we've seen this before. We're going to work on the door. We're going to put the hinge on. We're going to put some door handles on, some door locks on. And all this means nothing, because the first thing we're going to be doing, because the first thing we're going to be doing is you're going to be bringing back this, and we're going to be putting some visor stuff on. So we need to get our flesh cutters, and we need to take these off.
Now the sprues are marked one, four, three, and two. The first thing we want to do is we're going to do this one right here. And if you notice up here, one hole is bigger than the other. One of the ones that's marked is two as shorter pins. It's a shorter pin right in here. Okay, so that's one visor bracket. Now they're shaped like an L, as you can see. So the L goes in. All right, both brackets are on there now. I think this is going to be easier way to. There we go. So now we're going to do the same thing with the ones over here. Let's open up these holes first. So now we'll put these in here again. Okay, so the two brackets are on there. Now we're going to take the visor. I don't think it really matters which way it goes. I'll put the one in there. And there's the other one. Much better putting the brackets in first than the visors. And we're going to put this aside right here and we're going to bring back the main cab. Now what they want you to do is fit the interior roof into this cab. But my LED bulb keeps falling out. So all I did was I just put some painter's tape on there just to hold that in place. So when I flip it over, it stays in place. There are four holes right here. They're going to match up with the lugs that are on there. And then they're just going to get held in with some D screws. There you go. That interior roof is now in the driver area. I'm going to move these Fold these down so they don't get snapped off. And right up in here, you're going to see two little holes. What's going to go in is these two little... Oh, I'm sorry. It's this little door lock. Being careful with your tweezers. Actually, I might actually use the needle nose for this. And you know what? I think we're going to be preemptive and just take some of this paint out. Okay, I got that in there using those tweezers. Now I'm just gonna, now you wanna take the door handle and like we did with the other one, there's a little recess right there. that the door handle fits into just like that and then there's that hole right here that this door handle will fit into the door handle fits on there Next, we're going to be doing some hinge work, so you're going to turn the door this way. I'll keep it zoomed in. A lot of garbage in there from the paint. Get that out of there. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your hinge plate and you're going to turn it upside down, or you're going to keep it like this. And that is going to fit right into here. And then there 
is a hinge plate. So that brings us to the end of stage six. Uh, there are some problems that we're going to have to solve before uh, moving on, but we did do the cab. We put the trim in on the side. Uh, we put the interior roof on, um, interior roof with the uh, vat with the uh, sun visors and the river mirror and the control panel and the dome light. And we made up a door that has a working hinge. But what we but what we also did was or tried to do was some pedal work, which would have been right in here. Um, that didn't work simply because they didn't send me a gas pedal. They sent me two brake pedals instead of uh, two gas pedals. So uh, I'll have to contact uh, Agora and get that, uh, and then we'll we'll fix that up, and then we can put the pedal in there. So that'll probably be in the next video. So that's it. Um, I hope this showed you some of the, the pitfalls of putting this together. It's still a fun build. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying it. I mean... Not that we did any work here, but take a look at that engine. It's humongous. Dashboard's real nice. We did, oh yeah, we did uh, some steering wheel work in, uh, in here. Uh, did a little bit of lighting. Uh, it's, it's really cool. So uh, I, I hope you like it, uh, and I hope I helped you. So what we'll do is I'll put a link below to any of the tools and any of the supplies I used, and to this build and, and the other Agora builds, which they have a lot of cool builds. So... I guess that's it for stage six. Um, and until stage seven comes in, I'm Steve. Thanks for stopping by the Maker's Cave, and I'll see you at the next build.